Yep, the Davis Bacon Art. Not to be confused with bacon that you wanna eat made by your friend named David. <laughs> wow, I'm gonna post this. Um, wow. Anyway, the Davis Bacon Act of 1931, I'll be honest with you, whenever I take a test on this, I literally, I just look for $2,000 and that's pretty much the answer with subcontractors. If it's got that, then I'm like, all right, check. But anyway, that's how I pass it. It's not, I don't know how I remember it, but I'm going to go ahead and read it because super easy, doesn't need a lot of explanation. The Davis Bacon Act of 1931. This law requires contractors and subcontractors on certain federally funded or assisted construction projects worth more than $2,000 in the United States to pay wages and fringe benefits at least equal to or prevailing in the local area where the work is performed. This law applies only to laborers and mechanics. It also allows trainees and apprentices to be paid less than the pre predetermined rates under certain circumstances. Uh, it doesn't really go over the trainees and the apprentices, so yeah, but you guess you should remember that. Pretty much Davis-Bacon Act, um, if you got some contractors working on a project more than $2,000, you gotta pay the same as everybody else that's making it if it wasn't at the contracting place. So whatever, there you go, pretty simple. Remember it, pass the test. All right, thanks for watching, bye.